One word, courage. The courage to move on, do something new that betters all of us. Hi everyone, this is a smartphone you are all familiar with, iPhone 7 Plus. As you may know, many things were unique only for this generation. Of course, it's got much prettier antennas and camera bumps than its predecessors, but there's also 3D or Force Touch feature and the awesome Taptic Engine hum button. It also had that unique jet black finish. I liked this design and this button solution made sense, since old iPhones always had problems with broken home buttons after some time. Also, for me, Force Touch was not a gimmick, but a real context menu on a smartphone. They say it's not discoverable, but who the heck thinks long press is discoverable? Anyway, let's look at this iPhone 7 Plus, as it has the most rare iOS version possible, iOS 10. I grabbed this one on eBay UK for £130, but in bad condition. The screen is broken, the glass is cracked, the body is frayed and worn, and the main camera not working. But it has iOS 10. So I fixed it. Actually, not me, but the local workshop, and it took only $140 more. For that price, I changed its body, screen, fixed camera, and got it clean. <laughs> Looks incredible. Do you like this standard black finish? Okay, let's go with iOS 10. What makes it so special? Of course, it's the fastest on 7 Plus, obviously. It has exclusive opening and closing animation, but what else? Well, some little things. For example, you can sort of complete notifications, so no need to dismiss them later in Notification Center. How do you like that? Notifications are so annoying on modern iOS. And you got a good-looking Notification Center, not that modern mess. Great control center too, ergonomic movement from the bottom up, also with a couple great adjustments, including GPS and cellular toggle, a real Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggle. Really convenient. Next, attractive icons and apps design, real landscape mode everywhere, <laughs> very innovative for Apple. And great battery life even with jailbreak. More than 10 days in standby mode, crazy. Although battery here is not new, it got more than 350 cycles. Next, first touch can do pick and pop. Great for link previews or switching apps or moving keyboard cursor with any key. Do you miss this? Really a ton of things that Apple stole from us. What about WhatsApp, TikTok, Instagram and Viber? No! TikTok was released in 2017 internationally, so it doesn't work on iOS 10. WhatsApp is Facebook, Facebook is shit, so it doesn't work here. Don't use it anyway. Instagram and Viber are working surprisingly. In addition, with this iOS version, Call Recorder works correctly. What else? We have working Siri here. Setting brightness is the sole useful Siri feature I know. At the same time, Telegram X works for now, while well, YouTube works just fine in browser. You can also find several handy tweaks that work perfectly here. Force in picture adds picture in picture. Reachboard makes reachability useful by showing clipboard. Handy key unlocks hidden feature in iOS 10. 
and detailed better usage shows, well, better usage in settings where it will be in future. Last but not least, iOS 10 is the last version to have 32-bit apps and games support. And here's my collection. I think it was a big iPhone. Do you miss the iPhone 7 Plus and iOS 10? Let me know in the comments and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.